what you see out of MJ Morris, the young freshman who uh, takes the reins here uh, for NC State for the remainder of the season. MJ Morris, you know, a really spark uh, for NC State, you know, as far as a quarterback that didn't necessarily start the game versus Virginia Tech, but they weren't really moving the ball offensively. And I felt like once he got his confidence uh, in that second half of that ball game, you were able to see who he was as a QB. Um, I think he's a future star in this league as he continues to grow and develop. You know, the main reason that MJ's even in the game is because of the injury to Devin Leary. What do you think Leary needs to do, you know, not only as far as getting ready to throw um, coming up here soon, but going forward if he wants to have a future in the league? Going forward, you know, Devin has to make the best decision for himself, you know, and uh, the main thing is you got to take care of your arm, take care of your body, because if you don't have that, you don't have a career, and that's in college or that's in the future at the pro level. So the main thing is to make the decisions that's best for him, and obviously he wants to be there for his teammates, which he can be in a capacity of helping MJ Morris, being there in the meeting rooms, teaching him the things that he might be seeing on the field because he has tons of experience. But overall, he has to make the best decision for himself first. And uh, we'll see what happens. And hopefully we get another year with him in the ACC, but we'll see. EJ, I know you're a Virginia guy, uh, but you're down in North Carolina quite a bit, man. Uh, this is the first time that three out of the big four have been ranked in the initial college football playoffs. Uh, what, are you, what have you seen this year, not only from NC State and Wake Forest, uh, but North Carolina um, as well? North Carolina being ranked 17 in the initial college football playoff rankings, I think is perfect because this is a team that's only lost one game, Trayvon, and that was the Notre Dame, a team that just beat one of the top teams in ACC in Syracuse last weekend. So uh, I think Carolina also has another star at quarterback. Uh, Drake may I'll actually be doing a breakdown of him tomorrow morning on Sports Center, And uh, I think the best thing that Drake has is just that cool, calm, and collected uh, mindset. You know, when you see him out there on the field, he's obviously making plays, but you could just tell he's having fun. He's not putting too much pressure on himself. He's trusting the guys around him to make plays as well. Uh, so quarterback Drake May of North Carolina is certainly special. And I really also believe the defense has improved over the past couple of weeks. Uh, you know, and we were asked the question, can they win a championship like this, you know, with a really good offense and an average defense? And uh, they've won a lot of games doing it, you know. So I think as they continue to win, play good offense, the defense will eventually start to really put it together uh, as they move forward uh, and try to win out the Coastal. Yeah, you lead me to my next question. Uh, Drake May has just been stellar and been amazing. What do you see as a ceiling uh, for a guy like that, especially as young as he is, having as much success as he is in the ACC right now? Well, I'll tell you, the ceiling is about as high as the sky where I'm at right now because this guy, uh, he has intangibles that really you can't coach. You know, it's hand talent, which means he can throw the ball with a flick of a wrist, get it off, you know, his back foot, find the holes to throw the football into, whether it's zone, and obviously be extremely accurate versus man. And you look at, you know, the way that he controls his offense. You know, a lot of times Carolina, they won't necessarily run the ball, but they'll use – you know, balls out or throws out into the flat or screens to Josh Downs or Antoine Green to give those guys chances to catch the ball. And what that does, it creates confidence for Drake May. It also gives the receivers some opportunity to get out on the edge and make the defense play the entire field. So when you talk about Drake May at quarterback for Carolina, man, you know, it's really impressive to see Mac Brown hit two for two like that with Sam Howell and now Drake May. DJ Manuel, still QB1, man. I appreciate your time, man. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by with me. Best of luck, and uh, we'll see you down the line. Sounds good, Trayvon. Thanks, man.